Hey everyone, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my first project for my 10 Minute Tuesday series, and I'm gonna be sharing projects that you can complete in 10 minutes or less. Now you also might notice that I will have some editing done, but the actual project is 10 minutes. Sometimes I have to edit because I'm walking away or you know, helping out someone with lunch or dealing with a dog or something like that. But I promise you the project will be 10 minutes or less. Okay, I'm starting with the Christmas Flourish. This is from Spellbinders. Look at, this, look at this gorgeous frame. I actually ended up not using that for this project, but I think it's so, so pretty. But we have this cute little house that we're using and these sentiments that we are gonna be using. So I have some gold mirror cardstock and I am going to die cut my sentiments and the like sentiment strip piece. I'm gonna be die cutting that from gold mirror cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse. And I left some of this stuff in here so you could see like I, the, the four in the sentiment, the little small one, I don't know when I took it off my um, die cut machine, it just shot somewhere so I had to die cut it again. But my point is I'm leaving these things in so you can see that this project is actually less than 10 minutes. Um, but I just thought this would be a great thing for people who just want to make quick cards, especially when the holidays are coming, if you want to make something that's going to go much, much faster. So I'm on that little sentiment strip. I'm going to add the piece that says all hearts come home. So I die cut that on there and I'm just going to use my tool in one to pop those little pieces out. And I also die cut a piece of white cardstock that I totally forgot to show on here. Um, so I apologize for that, but that's going to sit behind this. So that way the sentiment is white. Now I also die cut the house from gold mirror cardstock and red cardstock. And I totally forgot to, to record that too, but I promise you this project was under 10 minutes. So I'm going to spritz my blue cardstock. This is night shift blue with a little bit of water. I'm using Simon says stamps, snow flocked hills, um, embossing, Oh my gosh, embossing folder. And we're gonna use this as our background because it's already a scene and isn't that gorgeous? Now here is my sandwich. I'm using the platform A and C of the universal plates from Spellbinders. And because look at how thick that embossing folder is. So that will be listed and linked for you guys below. So here's that cute house from Gold Mirror Cardstock. And I'm gonna use some foam tape behind that. I'm gonna put foam tape in the opening of the heart because I did die cut the house again because I wanted a little red heart. I thought a little pop of color on this of the red against that gorgeous blue and the gold mirror cardstock would be perfect. So I'm just cutting small pieces of foam tape to fit around the background. I'm not adding any other colors to fill in like the doors or the open windows. I'm just keeping it nice and open. I'm going to place this at the bottom right because there is a nice opening. And like I said, this makes for a perfect scene card. You could do this for anything. So it's great for Christmas, but you could do this for any type of card. Then I'm going to pop that little heart right in place. And then we can put our sentiments together. So let's glue that white piece behind the gold piece that has that says all hearts come home. So I'm adding just a little bit of my Barely Art glue. I'm using my reverse tweezers, and this makes this super simple. If you wanted to die cut and inlay all of those letters for that sentiment, you absolutely could do that. And if you did that in red, that'd be really, really pretty. But I was keeping it simple and quick for this project. Now this is also gonna have foam tape. You guys know I love my sentiments to have dimension. So I trimmed down a piece and I'm just gonna center that in there and we can pop this up at the top and then we can get the other little sentiments in place. So the whole sentiment says, all hearts come home for Christmas, which I think is really super sweet. And it's okay to me that this hangs off the edge. This is an A2 size card. You can just put it in a little bit larger envelope, no big deal. I was just making sure it was nice and straight. And then I just was deciding how I wanted the sentiments to be I really didn't love them next to each other. So then I decided to put them on top of each other and that really worked. And it kind of filled up that night sky where there's not any more trees and it's just the stars. So let's add a little bit of liquid glue behind that. I think that's the easiest type of glue for little tiny things like this. And if you wanted this to have dimension, you could die cut this multiple times 
and then that would give those letters dimension. I'm, if you guys follow me, you guys have seen my videos where I do that a lot with sentiment dies because I do want them to have dimension. But this one, I didn't mind it being not popped up because the sentiment above it is and the house is below. So I'm just going to pop that in place. And then we're gonna add a few stars to the top. And this is Trinity Stamps Gold Stars. I just laid them out really quick. And then we're just gonna put that in place with a little bit of liquid glue. I will adhere this to a white A2 size card base. So here are those nice gold little stars. There's different sizes. And I just kind of filled them in in between the embossed stars on the background, which totally worked out perfectly. I'm gonna finish up these last few and then you guys can get a look at this up close and it really is super, super pretty. Look at that. Isn't that an easy, quick card? I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of this series of the 10 Minute Tuesdays. So definitely check back on Tuesdays. It may not be every Tuesday, but it will be quite a, quite a few a month. So thank you guys so very much and have a wonderful day. Bye.